yeah this is a big moment i don't have the original unboxing experience because we live in jamaica where we have to get past customs and to get past customs you have to be able to convince them that an item is not new so this is a jamaican unboxing experience right now check 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 so as you would have learned from the title i finally gotten a new macbook i got the m1 max that was released late last year i will put the specs up on the screen spec it out as best as my budget could accommodate i hope to have this laptop for as long as i had my previous laptop it took me quite a long time to get this laptop and i'm not just talking about ordering it also just it took me a long time for them to make for apple to make this laptop the laptop that i really thought would be the best for me so this is my now dead 2015 macbook pro which i purchased in 2016 and it's 2022 right now so you see how long i've been using this laptop this laptop died on me just in february i couldn't be mad at it because it had served me for so long and it was showing me signs that it was ready to go out to the pasture here's the moment of truth well before the moment of truth i guess i can go over we have usb-c ports headphone jack and magsafe it's back although it never left for me we also have the sd card another usb-c port hdmi a lot of people were saying that this is gonna be really heavy like it's really heavy and it is heavy but funnily enough it's just as heavy as my previous macbook okay yeah first impression here we go yes all right this is looking mad beautiful first impressions this screen is absolutely beautiful it's gorgeous i knew i was ready to move on from this laptop from maybe about like 2018 i'd say but from 2016 to maybe about 2019 i wasn't satisfied with what apple was offering in terms of their laptops i was even contemplating going to windows i was distraught for a while because you know a laptop is a very big investment and i wanted the next investment that i made into my laptop to be worth it this is how i parse a hundred percent of my work you know i am a professional director photographer and cinematographer and all my professional work passes through my laptop so it's a very important part of my working ecosystem if you know anything about apple between 2016 and 2019 those laptops had a lot of issues that they were plagued with i won't get into them i just didn't feel happy about investing my money there so i just held on to this laptop which really was quite the champion in terms of all the videos that you see all the youtube videos all of the music videos that i've edited everything i did on this 2015 macbook pro 16 gigabytes of ram i think it's just a testament to speak to how good of a machine that is for it to last that long so then in about 2020 apple rolled out the m1 machines and when i saw the m1 machines i was really excited because i knew just based on research that they were gonna come with just like a step up when i just saw all the reviews for the m1 i was like yes this is a laptop for me and then when they came out with the m1 pro i lost it and in the same keynote they came out with the m1 max and i continued to lose it so i made the decision to invest into this upgrade because i have a lot of hopes of what i want to do with this laptop you know with this 2015 machine that i had i wasn't able to do or maximize a lot of the upgrades i had elsewhere say with my black magic pocket 4k or even my red camera i was really unable to 
make use of the raw footage it was just too slow this machine just couldn't really handle a 4k workflow so with this machine i'm hoping to really level up a lot um you know i'm hoping that i'll be able to edit much faster editing in this would be kind of painful you know once you reach the color grading step the machine would reach very slow and just an editing workflow that would take maybe somebody a day would take me maybe like three just because of how tedious it was to just work with certain files so you know just speeding up in terms of editing and export i'm definitely super interested now to properly learn how to color grade in davinci resolve that's some software that i've been learning and just kind of prepping myself for and now that i have this machine i can really you know get into the weeds of how to color black magic footage how to color red footage a thing that i've literally wanted to do from i knew about the app like from before my first macbook was um learn adobe after effects properly i want to incorporate vfx as a tool in my vast kit of creative skills i've never had a machine this powerful so i feel like i'll really be able to you know not be a vfx expert but i at least just want to be able to just add you know a little bit of sprinkle and sauce to my work if you have any questions about the m1 max macbook that's a mouthful or what i plan to do with it drop it in the comments and i'll answer as best as i can for the rest of today now that i've updated you guys i am going to dive into setting up this machine so continue to behave on yourselves and continue to bless up yourself Yo, you see that? No.